they are uh, they're extremely sound fundamentally, which we all know. But uh, and I said this, I think in our radio broadcast, I just think they're they have more depth and are more versatile maybe than any team that I can remember that Tony's had. Uh, they just have a lot of different ways and personnel that they can beat you. Uh, they obviously can go small with the little guard, move Hunter to the four. Um, now they got Jerome and Guy coming off more screens. They can play big with Diakite and Salt. Um, and then they go to the well and bring out Jay Huff, a kid that we recruited. Um, and he's, he changes the game because he's a five man that's making threes. Um, thought our guys really, really competed. Uh, just super proud of the way our team hung in there and fought. One of the hardest things to do in basketball is to, is to compete every possession defensively against a team like Virginia, especially who's putting you through the grinder on screening action <coughs> when you're not scoring. Uh, when you don't make baskets, you don't get energy. Um, it's almost sometimes can be demoralizing when you're missing layups and free throws and, and to have to go back and then continue to fight defensively, I think really speaks to the character of our guys and, and a much better effort uh, our last two games defensively. We've, we've played really, really hard and, uh, and very well. Um, you know, we obviously cut it to two, had a chance uh, despite our shooting woes. And then unfortunately, they, we just never, never made any. And uh, eventually, you got to make shots. And uh, we didn't do that tonight. Coach, you had a three game losing streak at the end of the last season. I think when Shelton got hurt, um, you turned that around with a home win over Georgia Tech and won five out of your next seven. You, you think um, you can really do that with a yeah, home game against Georgia Tech? I don't, I don't really worry about what happened last year. And, Obviously, the good, there's a ton of good. There's some bad in every season. It's a long, hard year in ACC, and you're going to go through stretches where you play great teams, and, and uh, you know you just you, you try to just keep the morale of your team up and your spirit, and keep guys fighting. And uh, you know we were very well prepared. We had a very good plan that gave us a great opportunity. I thought we stopped them out of some things that they really like to do offensively, but offensively, you know we. We actually played well offensively in a lot of ways. Um, there aren't many teams that will shoot more free throws than Virginia. We did. We only had seven turnovers today. Uh, but you do have to finish plays, and you have to make threes. And uh, you know we didn't do that, so we just can't get discouraged by by a lack of uh, finishing. And we have to be encouraged by our effort, our togetherness, and our competitive fight in today's game against a great opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, and then obviously our best player, who's a 90% career free throw shooter, missed three free throws and he missed that one. It was almost telling that, you know, it spins out on him. And, um, you know, you have to score, though, to keep the crowd going. And our crowd wanted to help us so much that we had a fantastic turnout. Extremely thankful to the way our students were there early. We had, you know, people ready to go. And, um, but it's hard to cheer in, for defense in basketball. We don't, you know, it's, it's easier when you get a sack in football and everybody goes crazy, you, you, interception, whatever. It, just keep getting stops. You know, people kind of get to the edge of their seat, but then they need a dunk, they need an open three, they need something to go in to like, to get them to really go. And, and we could just never get them to do that. And obviously some of that's Virginia. Those guys are outstanding defensively. They don't give you anything easy. They don't turn the ball over so you, you get a fast break dunk, um, and they close very well with great length and great defensive fundamentals to make it hard. But uh, we did have a, we did have our fair share of open shots. We had our fair share of layups around the rim. I think somebody said they, on our staff counted seven that we missed. You know we need to make five of those. And that's ten points. And now all of a sudden the game is different because of the game pressure. And, um, we just didn't get it done. You, you touched on it a little bit, but how happy were you with your your shot selection? Over pretty pretty happy. It's hard to get good shots against these guys. They, uh, you know, they're number one in scoring for a reason. Um, they don't give up easy ones. Everything you have to do, you have to earn. Um, I thought our spacing was good. I thought our ball movement most of the time was reasonably good. Um, they did a good job on Eli, and Eli didn't. We practiced some things, and, and he, game slippage. He probably turned a couple over that, you know, we'd love to have back. Um, and again, that's a credit to Virginia, but. All in all, I think we're going to go back and look at the tape. And you know, I don't. We t took 54 shots. I think I'm going to like 40 of them. You know, maybe even more than that. And uh, you know, we just 
you have to make plays. How hard is it on the team you know, get some of those offensive rebounds after you guys guard? Yeah, it is. I think that's that's where the heart. The other thing that is really hard about Virginia is there is a wearing effect when you play them because of the way they play. And it, you know, uh, you kind of saw the game like South Carolina game was similar. South Carolina was in the game for a long time, and then there's a wearing effect when you're fighting through all these screens and long possessions and. If you, you saw what Kyle Guy did in the first half when we relaxed twice, he's, he's got a ball up in the air and it's going through the net. Um, so naturally, when you're not scoring your energy level, you know you lose it a little bit and now a long rebound happens and you're just not quite quick to the ball and they get it. Um, I know they had one offensive rebound at half uh, and that was a huge point of emphasis for us. In the second half, they were a little bit quicker, uh, maybe a little fresher and, and uh, I think there was a little wearing effect on our team. He's good at playing. Top five teams. We play two of the top five teams in the country, and the other games on the road at Syracuse. Is it important for you to just let your guys know that it's a long ACC season? It's kind of front loaded with some really good teams, just to make sure that they, you know, realize that they're doing a lot of good things yeah. despite an zero and three start. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the number one thing that you coach with players, I think, is effort. You know, that that, that that's. That, that is attitude. If you're not competing, then you have a poor attitude. And, uh, you know, that's why I was upset with our team in the second half of the Duke game. I thought we played fine in the first half, but once the, the avalanche started, we did not regroup. And that was extremely disappointing. Our last two outings, so five of the last six halves, we've played really hard. And uh, we just haven't played well enough to win. And uh, when you play two top five teams, that's going to happen. And when you play Syracuse at Syracuse, that's going to happen sometimes too. Now that's that's something you better get figured out, and uh, we're trying to work on it. But, you know, we start with our preparation, following our plan, and our effort to, to get that done. For the most part, we did some good things today. Um, but now we got to figure out a way to continue that and win a game and execute a little better. Is a guy like Huff on your, I guess? Yeah, he's on our report. We knew him. We recruited him. Uh, but I think that goes to what I was talking about earlier is their ability to bring a guy like that in. I mean, he's ninth or tenth man on the team. He's a good player, obviously, 11 points in 10 minutes or something. I mean, we knew he could make threes, but, you know, what that did is change the, the nature of how you're guarding other guys. And, uh, you know, you got to give something up sometimes to stop something else. We did a great job. Kyle Guy did not score in the second half. Maybe he didn't score in the second half. Uh, but now other guys did. That's why they're good. And, because they have a bunch of different guys they can go to that are all good players. Brad, a little personnel question. Uh, Trey Jamison, a little further in the season, how far is he developing? No, he, he's coming. Um, he just missed so much that, you know, I'm calling three things out in the last four minutes, and he got two of them wrong. Um, and it's not, shouldn't have been that complicated, but some of it is just anxiousness, and some of it is, you know, the kid missed a lot. And so now he's kind of, um, he's playing catch up, uh, but he is physical. He's big and strong. He's a live body. Uh, you know, I think he has a good future.